Matthews, Matthews, chapter 10, verse 22. And ye should be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Let me read that again. Matthews chapter 10 verse 22. And ye should be hated of all men for my name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. I like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Hashem El Shabbat, Shem Kapadash. To why the Yahweh Hashem El Shah, for giving us the apostles and elders of great millstone, who deserve the honors, rightfully so. <clears throat> Shalom on to the Akim, pushing the word and sincerity and truth and being faith based and being prepared for what is to come. And what is to come? Race wars, famine, concentration camps, star of ID, chippers, the mark of the beast. 200 million missiles in the soldiers of America. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord different the whole full elected to the chambers. Simultaneously, the chariots of the Lord shoot laser beams on Godly and the heathens, rightfully so. Uh, I'm Rakazai. The Lord had calls up this video. It'll be edifying. Get the thoughts out of my head. Um, Make them clear and edifying. And, um, um, I had so many thoughts of where I would go with the video, but it, it just kept guiding me. And so that I looked at the meaning of encouragement. You know, at first I was, um, I did it on this phone. I switched this phone right here just to read the scriptures, but um, I always record on my, my main phone. And um, I was just, uh, Sloppy yeah. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Um It's a verse that's coming in my head. Um how a told Peter. Okay. Um, um I read that verse, that right there, because that was that was um I was trying to do a video, a second video, but um that verse was stuck on my page. And um it's it's um Yahweh Shah is um he's he's encouraging, he's giving you encouragement right here. Right? He's telling you that um to endure. He that endure to the end. He that um that remain. Stay in this man. He's telling you that to not wither away out of this, man. Everything that's around you is, is, is part of your test. Your children, your woman, your job, it's all part of your test, man. And he's telling us men to tell the other men, for the other men to tell the other men that's a part of the whole four elect to stay in this, man. Because he told Peter that. I was just thinking about that. I was thinking about that verse when I was looking for this word encourage when I when I led when I was got led to the word encouragement. Alright. The word cheer. I'm trying to think of the word. It was the word cheer. Alright, let's go. Cheer mean. Chair mean. So I was gonna mess up. Let me get it quick that fast. Chair mean. It's gonna mess up fast. So <laughs> chair mean. Here's the definition of cheer: shout for joy, or in praise or encouragement. Encouragement, All right? In praise or encouragement. So I started um looking up the rest of the meanings, right? And um. Uh, this is our job to um to uh, this is how we man this is how we um take care of the flock by giving them encouragement, you know, nourishing them, telling them that you have to, you know, that it it'd be great it'd be good if you follow your Shah. 
All right, and it says, mm-hmm. next, the next minute it says, give comfort or support. All right, he seemed greatly cheered by, um, how you pronounce this? Because we, that's what we need. We need, we, our job is to encourage. Arrival. Arrival. All right. Um, arrival. All right. Let's start The action or process of arriving. All right. He's been, by arriving, yeah. The, who will be arriving? The Yahweh Shaha, if we stay in this today. You know? And case in point, you know, us us arriving for taking care of the flock. You know? Alright. He seemed greatly cheered by my arrival. Alright? See? That's why it's important that these videos be put up. Cause we're gonna be greatly uh um we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be greatly um cheered by um by Yahweh Shah arrival. That encouragement. So when the men of the Lord goes out there on the highways and the byways, we are that builds our encouragement. And we, by the apostles being out there, that gives us encouragement. And by us being out there, it gives other brothers encouragement. Alright? So this this is a chain reaction. Alright? It says, alright, it says. Another meaning, right? A shout of encouragement, praise, or joy. Right? Um, cheerfulness, optimist, or confidence. Confidence, who just said this optimist? Maybe I pronounced that wrong, so not fair. Let's go. Optimism. Oh, optimism. I was told. All right, let's see the word optimism. In. Look. Hey, the apostle told us a great thing to go into the words and bring it out. Hopefulness and confidence about the future or the successful outcome of something. You got, you got to be kidding me. <laughs> Hopefulness and confidence about the future or the successful outcome of something. So we, we have been, our encouragement has enhanced. It enhanced. Just on that, right there. That my right now my confidence in hands, man. Well, it says, um, optimism, man. Cheerfulness, optimism, or confidence. We just went to the an attempt to inject a little chair into his gloomy season. You got to be kidding me. You crazy. Yeah, out of your mind, man. We got we got the ultimate um um we got we got the ultimate encouragement from from the greatest men that's out there that have been put out there by by the um by our, by our pure power, which is Yahweh Shah. And it's and, and they, they encouraged us, so we encourage you brothers to go out there. This encouragement is a chain reaction, man. Alright, look at that. That was Fire wristed, cheerfulness, optimism, or confidence. You supposed to have confidence. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can get a word. Um, hey, <laughs> our enduring, us enduring, us enduring to the end, so we can be saved. We gotta have confidence in that. Our, we got we build up your encouragement so you won't let go. Right. Let's, let's look about this verse real fast. It says Matthew chapter ten verse twenty two, and ye should be hated for of all men for my name's sake. For you have Rashi Mishnah said, if you were hated but from all men for his name's sake, that should encourage you. That should make you happy, because that means you've been doing the right thing. For you have Rashi Mishnah sake. For his name's sake. But he that endureth to the end shall be saved. Right. We went just going to this word endure. Alright. So we endure, man. What's he supposed to do? Alright, let's see. I'm not gonna try to pronounce it. It was G fifty two seventy seventy eight. So lucky if I got forgot to uh, mention um 
Good concordance. Hoopamano. Hoopamano. All right. Hoopamano. That means um, endure. Right. To remain. To remain. To tarry behind. To remain, i.e., abide, not resist. Salaki. I ain't the ultimate smart dude. I'm just. I'm encouraged to do these things, man. Recede. Recede. Right? I'm encouraged by great men to be great. Right? To recede. Go or move back or further away from a previous position. Hmm. 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 To remain, I eat, abide, to recede. Not recede or flee. Alright? Not recede or flee. To preserve under mis misfortune and trial to hold fast to one's faith in Hamashiach. To endure um to endure bravely in calamities of ill treatment. Woo! Oh so lot. Thank you, guys. <laughs> Encouragement, man. So we doing, we doing the right thing, man. Illness, Ill let them come. They come for us, right? I mean, the Lord said, "Oh, you, what you gonna do now?" <laughs> hey, y'all, you know, shy. He's a, he's a, um, he's a, um, he's a man of war, and he he loved those he chastised. So um, I had a few verse, a few few thoughts in my head, but they kind of wither away. I was decided to come back, but um, I do want to. It's a verse that it says um, um, Peter. It's Peter Satan. I can't remember how um, the verse went. It says um, oh boy, how it goes, how it goes. Can't think of it. But I'm just gonna quote it the best I can. When um Yahweh Shah told Peter, Satan come to shift you. Um and I'm gonna pray for you. And when you um convert it, how that go? Oh shit. I need to really find that verse. Convert it, Peter. Let's see if that's close to that. I can't remember. No, it may not. Sheesh. It's a lot here, brothers. I can't even think of the verse. There's a verse. Convert thy brethren. I can't remember how it went. It's a lot here. Because, um... Verse, man, I, I had I said it before. Um, I think I got it. It says right here. I think it's it. It says, yes, this is it. Bam! It says. Um, it's gonna go up with how Shah said. So um he he uh he was um um giving Peter encouragement. Alright. Alright, he said it says um Luke chapter twenty two verse thirty one and the Lord said uh, said Simon Simon behold Satan has desired to have you and that's these these people they these these they all have desired to have us. To have their way with us to destroy us. But the, the Yahweh Shah is going to, he's, he's, these words are comforting and encouraging us to stand in the door. And the Lord said, to, said Simon, Simon, behold, Satan has desired to have you, that he may shift you as wheat. But I have, but I 
have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. See, that's what we do. We're doing the same thing. We faint and pray for you, brother. Yo, yo, yo. We encourage you to hold your faith. That I have faith that your that I have, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And that's what we're doing. We're strengthening you, brothers, man. Giving you encouragement that don't let go, man. Something, something far more great is about to be held, put, be put on, on your head. A crown of everlasting that will not fade away. These things is about to, is, is the, we're about to encounter the ultimate trip for an ultimate crown. And this is the last hurrah. So that was the point. If that came out correctly. Alright, so. I don't know, I just wonder, um, I had, um, you know, this verse was like, because y'all was shy as comfort in us, man, and, um, it's happening, man, it's, it's really happening, and we should feel glad that, um, right, optimist, that's the optimism stuck in my head, man, <laughs> confident, cheerfulness, and optimism, optimism, or confidence, man. We gotta have confidence in this, man. It's the best, man. It's the best. I will be. Uh, Y'all wish my shot gave us some great men to look. If you have been in, the, if you've been in the apostles' presence, and the elders, and you and you sit there, you're more amazed at the um, the um, the wisdom they have, right? Than the individual, because you be like, man, you get it right. You be like. It's a regular guy. <laughs> he can get it ready to, but the wisdom that you can feel the you can feel the wisdom around them. You can feel the spirit of Yahweh Shem around Yahweh around them. Because you be around people in the world, right? And then you look at them, because you got the it says the spirit bad winning for our spirit that we're the child of God. That's what it says. Um in the world you try the spirit. And you could be around you know, you could be around the worst person, but he 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 could probably be the worst person in the world, right? But um, you could see, you could feel, you could feel the presence of, you could, you, you, you know, you he could look like the he could like the normalest person, right? But he could be the worst person, right? Ever he probably did all this treason, whatever. And then you're like, damn, you, you you wouldn't be able to see this person as this person, right? But the the, the but the all the shit that that he has done is so fucking evil, right? Same thing, it's, it goes for righteousness too. Like, you get around the presence of men, you can know that from being spiritual, you know, damn, this is a, this is a wonderful person. He just, he's just a regular guy like me, right? But the Lord has put um, the spirit of righteousness upon these men. Just like he put the, he put the spirit of wickedness on most these other people. So it's an even balance, man. And you should be happy the Lord put you amongst righteous men to, to encourage you to be righteous. Because if you start judging by the outward look, you ain't going to never get the message. That's why the Lord said, um, um, never trust thy enemy. That's, you got to be able to, you got to be able to discern your enemies, understand that to be able not to be able to trust them. And you got to look at their track record. Just like you gotta look at righteous men track record. And the scriptures shows track records of righteous men. Cause if you're doing the same thing that the, that's in this book of, of prophecies, of prophets, it's a sure thing that you are one of those men. So there's no going around that. Hope that came out clear, because I was like trying to narrow it down, but hey man, I I'm so happy just to be doing what I'm doing that I never knew I this what I'd be doing. Like you, you can't never. It, um, it's a matter. He said he has no new thing on the earth, but I think it's a scripture says that. Um, I think I can't remember how it goes, but um, I think it's Ecclesiastes. That um, I, he um, uh, saying name of terms. We we got to um. A man come, he grows up. I can't remember how it goes, Salaki. But we come, 
reincarnation. If you remember everything in your past life, you'll be, you'll be, you, the first thing you do, as soon as you was born, the first thing you think about doing is destroying everything. But the Lord takes away those old thoughts. Okay? So, we are encouraging you, men, to hold on, to endure to the end. And so you can be saved. So, you how much you say? You want to be one of those men. So, it's a lot here if I um, ramble a little too much, but um, try to get a few verses, but I'll try to get a few meanings. And all over that was edifying, you know. And um, build your courage up, man. Oh, be a good cheer. I want to get that last verse. Um, let's see if that verse. I got that one. Lord, let me get that one. The why y'all watch me on shop for that. Let's see. It's a verse. Let's, I'm going to end it with this one. Uh, I know it's in Psalms. Or maybe on um, Proverbs. Jeez, what? Oh my goodness. Oh, is it? Maybe I'm using the word wrong, the wrong courage. Yeah, I think it's courage. Courage. I think it's courage. Oh, come on, man. All right, yeah. Psalm chapter 27, verse 14. Wait on the Lord and be of good courage. All right? Be of good courage. And he shall strengthen thy heart. Wait, I, wait, I say, wait on the Lord, Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shah. All right? Another one. Psalm chapter 30, verse, John chapter 31, verse 24. Be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thy heart. All ye, all ye that hope in the Yahweh Shah. Alright, that's right. Alright, so that's our job to encourage you. I'd like to give all prayers and honor and glory to Yahweh Shah, the Wadi Yahweh Shah, for giving us the prosperity. That was a great millstone. Shalom to the Hakim. Shalom.